Hello YouTube, this is Scorpwana. Um, not too long ago I uploaded a car on NASCAR 09 for Xbox. It was uh, the Dale Earnhardt Sr. car. And I got a lot of messages and emails about it. People wanted it. And they wanted me to you know, give my locker uh, name for EA Sports or whatever like that so I could share it. But I, I don't want to share it because, well, you know, creating it. Is a challenge and new no, needs creative. So it uh, anyway. So a lot of them asked also how to use the paint booth or how to get to it, how to make your own car to upload into the locker. So I thought maybe I'd make a little miniature tutorial on how to do said thing. So what you're going to want to do first is uh, go to Mozilla Firefox or well your web browser. You don't have to mean Mozilla. I just happen to use Mozilla because I really don't have a reason to just do. In your web browser, go to easportsworld.com slash en underscore capital US slash C A C. Create a car is what that stands for. And we're gonna go enter. It's gonna tell us to log in to your EA Sports World. And when you click sign in, you go here. You sign in with your name. I'm using mine. Such low resolution, you can't see what it is. Ha ha. Okay, we have signed into EASportsWorld.com. Now we have to sign into EASports.com. You're probably asking why not just go straight to EA Sports, but that's not where the Create a Car or Paint Booth actually is. So you have to sign into both of them to access it. I think. I'm not sure. I haven't done this in forever and they've changed things up a bit. Alright, before you go to the actual paint booth, you'll need to associate your EA Sports uh, profile with the persona of your Xbox 360 or PlayStation, whichever one you have the game on. NASCAR 09, that is. So I'm just going to show you a quick little way to get there. Um, when you click on your name under EA, your profile basically you'll see to the right side it's like my default personas mine is the Xbox 360 you just click add persona and it goes to the persona site you log in alright EA Sports is turning to origin later whatever okay so we're gonna sign in to the other EA which is EA.com I know sign in sign in sign in uh, so EA.com profile and here's your EA account manager under your profile in EA Sports and down toward, toward the bottom it's gonna say select a default persona I've already selected mine if you have to you click add persona go through the steps to associate another persona select persona type you'd like EA ID existing Xbox gamer tag PlayStation Network ID you just type the information click add that's all it is to that to associate your Xbox with your EA Sports or PlayStation, whatever. I just I use Xbox. I'm going to refer to Xbox throughout this tutorial, but if you use PlayStation, just substitute the two. All right, so we are logged in. We're going to go back to www.easportsworld.com/en for English underscore capital US for USA and then a CAC I will have the link inside the description when I upload this to YouTube alright so it's gonna take us here this is the official paint booth that used to exist when the game first came out EA lost its license or let it run out or just decided not to renew it to create NASCAR games and now we're stuck with NASCAR 11 which sucks ass and everyone knows it nothing is right about that game um, so in here this is uh, we're gonna be creating a Sprint Cup Series car this is under downloads so I'm gonna click on Sprint Cup Series we have a PSD format which is Photoshop I'm using that PND paint.net I don't know what that really is I've never used it a zip file containing the files I recommend if you have Adobe Photoshop download the Photoshop file so when we click that, we're going to go to, um, it's going to pop up your download screen. 
Sprint Cups Sprint Series the bleh, hello Sprint Series template. We're gonna click Save. I have it default saving to my desktop so I can find it better for this tutorial. I'm gonna close that little section there. While that's saving, it does take a little bit. Well, it depends on your connection, but I, I don't really. My connection sucks. Step one: it says download a design template. Select the vehicle series from the left. Choose which type of file you prefer to download. Click download and save. It's got tutor tutorials and demonstrations at the link. That link no longer works correctly, so don't even bother going there. Step two: it tells you in this step pretty much that you have to save the file as a DDS direct draw surface using DXT1 to your local hard drive. Make sure that you do not generate mini maps. So you can save that to your local hard drive and that's later on. If you did or were able to go to the link, it'll give you the it'll give you access to where the file is to save it as a DDS. It's a plugin for Adobe. But you can search to Google and find that probably the same way. If not, I can probably figure out a way to upload it out on there. Step three is talking about how to upload your custom skin to there and to make sure you have your persona. Step four download to game alright so what we're gonna do now <coughs> excuse me we're just going to go to my desktop which has the sprint series template for Photoshop I'm gonna double click that to open Adobe Photoshop okay so this is the default template that they allow you to manipulate for the game it has a wire mesh, which that's a term meaning for like 3D programs and stuff like that. When you create a 3D product or not product, but a 3D model, you have lines that create um, or dots that create once you connect them together polygons, and the polygons can form into whatever you want to. It's like playing with clay but in 3D space. It's not really hard to do. It can be confusing, but if you follow the lines of this, you can follow it on your car pretty much easy. Of course, for the Dell Earnhardt car, it took me several days and hours of those days to perfect it to what I needed it to be. Now, in the tutorial that they have on the site, it does allow you to download a 3D model of that car to upload or to open inside of a 3D program to look at your car before you upload it to your um, game. We're going to take out the flames that they have there. We're going to select the color red for no apparent reason and a paintbrush. We're just going to go all over this place. Look at that. Look at this. Check this out. Look at this random car. Oh yeah. Ooh, make a big X. You can make it all pretty if you want to but this is just a tutorial to show you how to get this inside the game. This is not about designing, making anything look good, it takes time to make things look perfect or better, but you know, whatever. And then, plot, we have our car. Ta da! File. We're going to save as DDS file. We're going to name this template file car, whatever. Maybe tutorial. Tu tutorial A. Or car. Tutorial car. DDS. We're going to save that. Make sure it's DXT1, as it says here, no MIP map. Like it says, just you pretty much just read the steps and it tells you, but that it doesn't actually tell you easy enough, because it took me forever the first time I ever did this to um, put a car in the game. Okay, we're going to exit that because we don't need that anymore. I'm going to go back to my desktop, and I have created tutorialcar.dds. We're going to go back to our little um, EA Sports World area where the the uh, Photoshop for Photo Booth is. We're going to click on Uploads. We're going to enter a car name here. It says Enter a Car Name. Final Steps, what it says. Um, we're going to call this Toot Car A. We just keep on putting the A's because it's a temporary name anyway. It says select car. We're going to scroll down here. I selected Sprint a while ago, so this will be Sprint 2. Now it says locate your design. Tutorial car DDS. We're going to click open. Ready for upload. Upload your design. We click that button. 
It says, please select the persona you wish to associate with this upload. I have 360, so that's what I'm using. The rest of it says null. Null means nothing. Zero, whatever. Okay, I'm going to click continue. It says loading and verifying image. It took me forever the first time I ever did this, and I didn't have a tutorial to look at. And the one that it has there really doesn't tell you much because it, they never told you mostly about the uh, the persona thing, which can really hinder you from putting the car in the game. Okay, status. Click continue for final upload. Click and continue. Uploading final data. And you have to make sure in your EA Locker that you have room for one of these cars. Because it doesn't give you much room. I have maybe like just three. And for this tutorial, I had to delete one just to put it in there in the game. So it really does suck. So that's why you have to keep it on your computer. That's why it upset a lot of people when they took Paint Booth down because it can't really can't put it back in there if it's down or anything like that. Okay, so our transfer has completed. This is just about putting it in the game. Remember, I'm not going to show you anything else because it doesn't matter. It doesn't uh, matter at all about anything. So now, since it's in our locker, we should be able to go into the Xbox 360, go into the game, go to the paint booth on there, and EA Locker, and find the car that says T Toot Car AA, the one that I have saved here. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Going to swap over to the Xbox. Be with you in a moment. Okay, so here we are in the game. We're going to go down to our garage, into the paint booth. Sprint Cup, because we made a Sprint Cup car. Hey, look, it's Good Ranch, number three. We're going to go to the EA Locker, right button, or right B, or right whatever it's called I don't know this is my locker you can probably see my name now congratulations you've got a car we're gonna go down to toot car AA which we uploaded off of uh, the EA site I don't know what that is anyway yeah toot car AA selects yeah click download my EA okay and download again. We're we are sure we want to. Okay, so it's like ask. Are you sure? Are you absolutely sure? Okay, downloading, saving. Please don't turn it off. You have successfully saved. All right, click OK. The A button is like go. So remember that. Watch screen. And there we have it. That's the crappy car we created in Adobe, uploaded through Paint Booth into the game. Doesn't it look so awesome? If you have any questions, I might respond to them. I don't really know yet. Because I don't even know if this is going to make it to the YouTube. Hopefully it will. And again, sorry for the qu crappy quality, but the capture device I, I had would only capture up to about uh, the... You know, not very... about this big. It's just whatever this big is. I'm going to swap over to the uh, other car. Uh, yeah. Load car, yeah. Load. Yes, I want to. I'm sure. I'm sure I want to load a car. That's why I press the button. Click load. I'm gonna load up the uh, one everybody wants. Toot car A. -A. Dale A. So I got Dale A and Dale B. Hopefully the audio will be with this video. Cause last time I had a um a game like this, you know, I uploaded the game. It just it was like. No, we're not going to allow you to have the audio, so they had it turned off. It really sucked. But maybe since I'm talking over this, they'll allow it. Doesn't that look so awesome? I wish I could play it in game, but the capture device that I have, um, it lags like two seconds, two to three seconds, so it's not worth it. Like whenever I'm moving my hand here, then it moves a few seconds later, and it's just annoying as hell. But yeah. I hope this helps somebody in the future, and I'm sorry about my language, but it took me forever to try to get this tutorial set up. I didn't even plan it out, because a spontaneous thing, you know. But anyway, yeah. If you need any help with any of it, you could message me on YouTube.